China's battery giant CATL might take over NEO's swapping network. Game changer? Welcome back to EVpedia, where the EV revolution comes alive in every episode. Now, before we hit the accelerator on today's powerful update, let me ask you something. Are you part of the EVpedia family yet? If not, what are you waiting for? Don't just sit there like a fully charged EV parked in a garage. Hit that subscribe button, tap like, and let's go for 1,000 likes and 100 comments in the next 24 hours. It's a tall order, but if anyone can pull it off, it's you, our amazing electrifying community. Let's prove that EV lovers are the most passionate people on YouTube. And hey, if you've already subscribed, you're the energy that keeps this channel running. Thank you for being with us on this electrifying ride. All right, buckle up because we've got a story today that could shake up the entire EV charging game in China and maybe beyond. Battery swapping used to sound like a cool sci-fi concept, right? Something we'd maybe see in the far-off future or in startups pitch deck. But Neo flipped the script. They didn't just prove it could work, they scaled it up to a level that even giants are now taking notice. And when I say giants, I mean CATL, the biggest EV battery maker on the planet. They're not just interested, they're reportedly getting ready to buy a controlling stake in NEO's battery swapping network, known as NEO Power. That's huge. Now let's break it down. CATL recently pumped a jaw-dropping $342 million, that's 2.5 billion Chinese yuan, into a joint venture with NEO. That wasn't just a friendly handshake, it was a signal. CATL isn't just trying to dip its toes into swapping tech, they're looking to dive all the way in. According to Reuters, they're now eyeing majority control of Neo Power. Think about that. The world's largest battery supplier wants more than a partnership. They want the wheel. If you're in North America, you might still think of battery swapping as a gimmick or a luxury service. But in China, it's real and it's thriving. Neo Power already has more than 3,200 battery swapping stations operating around the globe. Imagine that. Tiny EV pit stops where a driver can pull in, swap out a drain battery for a fresh one, and roll out, all without leaving the car or plugging in. It's faster than grabbing a soda and a hot dog at gas station. No joke, we've tried it, and yes, it actually works. And with numbers like those, CATL must have had a light bulb moment. They've already invested, so why not go all the way and own the tech, the stations, and the future of fast charging? To be fair, CATL hasn't publicly confirmed the buyout rumors. But four insider sources spoke to Reuters, confirming the proposal is on the table. Neo's official response? They didn't deny it. Instead, they said they're talking with multiple investors, including CATL, about expanding the battery swapping network. That's like saying, we're keeping our options open, but yes, the big boys are at the table. Now here's where it gets even more intense. Neo Power was valued at $1.4 billion, about 10 billion yuan, during a recent funding round. On top of that, NEO signed a major deal with Sinopec, a Chinese state-owned oil giant, to build a whopping 10,000 more battery swap stations in the coming years, 500 of them planned for 2025 alone. So, let's be clear, this isn't a tech demo anymore. It's a full-blown infrastructure expansion. But hold up, there's a twist. China isn't slowing down on ultra-fast chargers either. Just last month, BYD announced a Medawa charger that can juice up an EV in under 5 minutes. That's faster than checking your email. Then, Zika and Huawei jumped in, unveiling chargers delivering 1.2 and 1.5 megawatts respectively. These chargers are beastly and are set to go live as early as this month. With this level of fast charging tech rolling out, some skeptics are wondering, is battery swapping already outdated? But here's the kicker. CATL manufactures the batteries, so if anyone can make battery swapping efficient, standardized, and cost-effective, it's them. Imagine being able to buy a smaller battery pack for your daily commute, then just rent a high-capacity one for your weekend road trips. That's flexibility. That's convenience. And if this takeover happens, it may shift the entire EV charging conversation, not just in China, but around the globe. Now here's our take at EVpedia. If CATL does gain control of Neo Power, it will redefine what charging means for millions of drivers. We believe this could be a bold step towards a more modular, flexible future where drivers aren't locked into long charging stops or huge battery purchases. It might even kick off a global race to standardize swapping technology. But that's just our take. Now we want to hear from you. Do you think battery swapping is the future, or is it just a shiny idea that'll fade as megawatt charging takes over? Drop your opinion in the comments. Don't just watch, become part of the conversation. Share this video with a friend who's still debating EVs. Let's get this topic buzzing.
Before we power down, let me say this. If you've made it this far, you're the heart and soul of EVpedia. You're not just here for updates. You're here for the revolution. And we are so thankful to have you with us. If you haven't already, this is your moment. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and join the challenge. 1,000 likes and 100 comments in 24 hours. Let's shake the algorithm and show them how strong the EV community really is. And hey, don't forget that super thanks button if you want to help us keep producing this kind of content. Stay fully charged, stay curious, and we'll catch you in the next electrifying episode of EVpedia, where EV news meets next-level storytelling.